Hey guys, Toby Morrison here. Lovely background, obviously. Today's tip is make sure you do what you need to do today in order to help yourself tomorrow. Now, you know with, with people who achieve great things or overcome obstacles, it's not what they think about or project into the future. It's what they do today that actually helps them tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. So it's very easy when you're going through such a hard time to get stuck and not know what to do or not which not know which way to go. Um, and we get into a really vicious negative cycle and it's very hard to become unstuck. So in this video, I'm here to help you, inspire you and empower you to make those changes that you need to do today in order to help yourself tomorrow. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper and what I want you to do is write down what do I need to do to help myself right now. Not in 10 years, not in 5 years, not in 1 month. What do I need to do right now? And the answer is going to be different for everyone. For someone who's been pushing themselves for a very long time, it might mean to slow down. For someone who has been a little bit less uh, proactive and has probably hasn't been helping themselves that much is probably to help themselves more. How can I help myself more? What do I need to do today to help myself tomorrow? That might mean getting into a better routine, being more structured, asking for help, eating better, moving better. It just depends for each individual. You probably know what you need to do but knowing and doing are two different things and this is the difference between what I see with people who ultimately create results in their life. There's people who know everything and know what to do but they don't do it and then there's people who just do things that they think they should do and they usually benefit from it as an after effect of what they did. Okay, So I'm telling you right now, everything that you do has an impact on your life, whether it's, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, So it's really important to actually sit down and maybe spend 30 minutes here and there to actually figure out where you're at and what you probably need to start doing. You know, uh, sometimes we get so caught up in the in our own little thoughts and our own um, stuckness that we don't actually know what to do right now and what to do next. Okay, so it's important just to write down where you're stuck at, what you probably need to do right now, and just get on with it. All right. Again, this is this video is not for everyone. Some people will find that offensive that I'm saying just get on with it. This is for the people who want to take action and who are, you know, I guess sick of being sick or tired of being tired and, you know, going around in circles. One tip I'll quickly give you is don't expect overnight change, okay? With all of this, you know, it takes years and years and years of practice for someone to become a master at what they do, okay? So the same thing goes for recovery, the same thing goes for health. It's not an overnight thing. <laughs> health is a forever thing. You know, and, this, and the spectrum is, is from 1 to 100, or 0 to 100, okay? If you're starting at the bottom at 0 and, you, and you're really low and you're feeling really flat and you're not going too great, well, that, that means there's a huge room of improvement over here for you to master, okay? If you've gone from 100 and feeling great to, to really flat, well, that's okay too because you've known you've been well before, so therefore you can do it again. It's just what you do from now to there to get there. I hope that helps. I hope it's practical. Again, right now I'm all about practical, proactive help rather than just talking about things. There's a lot of information out there. As we know, we can sit on YouTube all day long, uh, but sometimes we probably don't need to do that. It just consumes us more and makes us more complicated and gives us more problems than solutions. So focus on what you need to do right now. Write it down, look at it, be conscious of it, and then put the action steps into action. Don't just think about it, don't just action and actually do the work, okay? Because your results will speak for itself once you start doing what you need to do to help yourself. I hope that helps. For more information, you can go to cfshealth.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's heaps of hundreds of videos and there's about to become another 200 of them shortly with my new podcast. Uh, again, comment below what you feel like you need to do. Let's, you know, that's the first step is, is be accountable, share it to the world. So write down below, comment below and tell me what you're, what you're going to do to take the next step. I hope that helps and I will see you soon.